Right, hello everyone. I'm going to try and make a fairly quick video to compare a few radar sites. I've been saying I'm going to do it for a while and finally decided to get around to it. So just to show you the time and date, it's just gone midnight, Sunday the 24th of January 2021. First website I'm going to show you, Flight Radar 24, which uh, currently shows it's tracking 1500 aircraft. Well, that's what's on the screen at the moment. If I zoom out a bit. Let's see what that says. Okay, that's in terms of numbers. Now, Flight Radar 24 have over 20,000 people feeding data into their system. So there's 20,000 people with receivers out there picking up where planes are and helping to display it on the maps. Um, if you go to the settings, that cogwheel there, you can set it up to display call signs etc or type of plane depending on what you want you have to zoom in on the map for the um, information to show when you when you're zoomed out like I was before you just get the yellow icons of planes give it a minute and it will show if I zoom in again you should get what I'm trying to show you showing up come on it just takes a while for their server to kick in and send that data to your screen there is a bit of a delay there you go you see the delay you have to put up with, but eventually it all shows up. Uh, I'll just quickly go over to the settings. So go to the cogwheel there, click on it. And then down in the settings, where are we? Um, yeah, aircraft labels is on. You move that slider so it can be off if you want, if you don't want any labels. And then you can muck around. You can have... Um, the type of plane and the registration, so for example, that's a Boeing 787-900 series, 789. You'll get used to it eventually. And then the registration of the plane is TCLLE, just for example. Then if you want, um, you can switch to only sh seeing call signs of planes. So, there you go, just got the call sign. Now it doesn't tell you what type of plane it is. Now you're just looking at the map and you're seeing the call signs of all the different planes. And again, it's amazing how quickly... You can get used to what airlines uses which call signs. So anyway, stuff to play around with, and this is in the free version. If you pay, um, you get even more things you can muck around with. You see where, where they've got a padlock. That's what you'd have to pay for to see. If you want to see oceanic tracks and air traffic control boundaries, and there's loads of other settings. So if you, if you're going to spend hours every day looking at radars, buy Flight Radar Twenty Four subscription. I'll just quickly show you subscription plans. So, basic, silver, gold, and business accounts. Basic is free. That's what I've been using for years. Brilliant website. Highly recommend it if you're looking for civilian planes. Um, since somewhere around the end of 2020, they started to show military planes as well. Some military, not as much as some other sites. I'll, I'll explain in a while. Silver, $9.99 a year. Gold, $34.99. And obviously, most of you aren't going to be business accounts needing that level of coverage. So... Start with the basic, it's free to use on websites. There's also an app you can get from app stores. Um, if you want to move up to a, a plan, read through what they say you get for um, paying extra money. Click on where it says see all silver features, see all gold features. Have a, have a good look and think about whether you're going to need that. Most people are happy with the free plan. So anyway, that's flight radar. And I'm just going to zoom out just to show you just how many planes they're tracking on their on their global map. If I zoom out as much as I can, so you can see the whole world in one shot. Let me just put that in one second. I mean, it's just crazy. Look how many planes are over America. The whole, you can't see the map. There's not as many over Canada. That's just the way it is at the moment due to COVID. But America's crazy. South America, they've got coverage. Africa, they've got some coverage. Europe is incredible coverage. They, they can also follow planes going over Russia, China, there's some coverage. Everywhere, basically. And that's how many planes they're currently tracking. Let's just quickly... Uh, I need to click on that number. Right, that shows you what they're currently able to display. Okay. 
and the, a new feature is they're able to show you planes um, going across the ocean when they're blue they're being detected by satellite they've got satellite tracking now it's not just ADS-B transponders that they're picking up they're also able to use satellite coverage so you can actually see where planes are crossing the ocean which you didn't used to see so anyway flight radar very good so six minutes past midnight right now I'm going to switch to ADS-B exchange ADS-B exchange uses different colors of planes to represent height they have a very handy color band down the bottom to explain so the planes you're seeing in purple and blue are at height stuff that's down in orange is pretty much about to land green and blue could be the landing or or taking off and gaining height etc but again look at that coverage they've got coverage all over the world which is brilliant it's just incredible and look at america i just want you to see america is absolutely covered if i if i i'm going to zoom in on a few different areas now just to give you an idea how good their coverage is adsb exchange is free there's their website okay and again adsb exchange is what i use to see military aircraft this is civilians and look at that that is insane there's so much stuff that you have to really zoom in on an area to to see what you want that is look at that mental i haven't seen it this busy actually in a while what is going on today that is absolutely crazy so let's go and have a look around one particular area. I'll just zoom in randomly on somewhere on the map. Come on. Let's have a look. Uh, right, now you can see all the different colours represented by a different height. Click on a plane and it will show you the flight path. I don't know if you can see that because the plane's in the way. So what you can do, you've got settings down the side. If you click on I for isolate, all the other planes on the map disappear and you can only and you can just see the one you've clicked on, which is brilliant. If you click on K down the side, it, it then displays the times uh, it was in a location, the height and speed. Again, brilliant information. To get rid of that, you just click on K again. Get rid of, click K, and that goes. Click on I, and isolate is now off, and all the other planes come back. Another brilliant setting they've got is up here. Click on U. And all the civilian stuff disappears from the screen. And then it only displays military. Now I just want to show you, look at all the military stuff that is able to display over America. And this is midnight in Britain, so I think they're five hours behind on the east coast of America. And they're eight hours behind Britain on the west coast. Okay, and that's look at look at that what they can track. Okay. So that's ADSB. I recommend ADSB if you're into civilian planes and if you're into military planes. There's there's other settings to go over, but I'm not going to go over everything now. Uh, T is for trail, so I might as well I'll quickly show you a couple of things. So if you click on T and then click on a plane, as you can see, it shows you its trail. Now if you want to do something funny, click on a few planes randomly. Click on that. Let's click on that one there. I'll have to pull the camcorder back so you can see a bit more. Click on that. Click on that, click on that. Right, you get the idea. Just click on about a dozen planes randomly on the map. These are all military planes they're able to show you. And then go and click on T for trails up the top again. And there you go. And now, now you can very easily see what direction planes are going in, where they've come from, what height they are at during that part of the flight, etc. So I highly recommend ADSP Exchange if you if you want to track military stuff. And it's just as good at tracking civilian stuff. But the big difference is if you use flight, I've got, just gone back to Flight Radar 24 now. If you go back to Flight Radar 24, let's find something to click on. So if you, when you click on a plane on Flight Radar 24, you get lots of really useful information that comes up down the side. You've got the flight and call sign. It tells you where the plane's taken off from, where it's going to. So took off from Cologne, going to Memphis tells you what time the flight was scheduled to take off and what time it actually did take off and it tells you what time the plane's due to land and what time it's estimated to land it even tells you how many kilometers it's done since it took off it even tells you how far it's got to go still and how much time it's got obviously all, all trackers should tell you what type of plane it is you've got the registration you've got the height of the plane you've got the tracking degrees 
uh, and then if you move move this information down you then got the speed not only do flight radar tell you what the speed is not if you hover over it with your mouse you get the speed in miles an hour which is what most people are used to so brilliant and then down there you've got the hex code as well so flight radar displays really useful information about planes when you click on them adsb exchange is different in that uh, let me just get rid of all those trials again let's try and find a similar plane to make it fair so let's go what did i click on recently something I can't remember exactly where that was on the map, can you? So let's get rid of the U to get back the civilian stuff. What was I looking at on uh, Flight Radar? Flight Radar, I clicked on a plane, which is where... Uh, it's off hull. Okay, so let's find that one. I'll find the same plane. So that's that one there. Click on that. Now, the difference is... ADSB can still tell you the call sign or flight number, the hex code the reg, the type of plane, the main thing that's missing, everything else is the same, but the main thing that's missing is they can't tell you where the plane took off from, where it's going to, like Flight Radar does. So Flight Radar I use if I really want detail. Okay. ADSB I use if I want to see where military is. Then there's also, now I'm going to switch to a third um, site, which is called... I'm just actually let me just zoom out so adsb exchange has coverage all over the globe let me just zoom out and show you now, do you see where they've got coverage all of europe is covered they've got some coverage over africa all of america and south america is covered australia is covered japan you get the idea adsb exchange is brilliant now i'm going to switch to freedar just got to remove that freedar is another it's free and here's the website to use radar.freedar.uk now again they show military and civilian stuff the military stuff shows up as green white planes are civilian and you can see the difference in coverage they've got good coverage but you can see huge blank spots over africa they've got no coverage in the middle east so that's a problem for me. Uh, China is pretty much blank to them. Uh, they have got coverage over Australia. Uh, let me just zoom out a bit more. Just let's have a look. Let's have a look at the whole map. Still waiting for America, so I'm just gonna. There we go. Let's see what they've got over America. So brilliant! Look at that coverage. They've got well, yeah, probably hundreds, thousands of planes showing up. Um, and again, they've got the same sort of thing. You can go to menu, go to options, uh, go to filters, and then if you click on enable filters, enable military, then click add filter. I'm not sure if I click that, yeah. Now, then get rid of that, click on that box there, get rid of that. And again, that should do the same thing. All the civilian stuff should disappear from that. There you go. And you're left with... <clears throat> let me just put it down. I need to move the screen. I need both hands. Um, there you go. They can now show you what they can detect over America in terms of military. And let's see what happens. Let's just click on something. And when you click on that, they give you a nice display of information. Registration of the plane. Type of plane. Operator, US Air Force. So that's a refueling plane, the new Boeing Pegasus. You've got the call sign, which is useful, speed altitude. So Freedar is good and free. Um, they they can cause a lot of problems. They do have a lot of downtime. They seem to be constantly mucking around with their servers. There are times when it goes down for not just a few hours. Sometimes it goes down for a day or two. But they're constantly working on it. So I'm happy about them. It's free. Let's just quickly... I'm just going to zoom out and show you the whole world map, see what they've got military-wise across the whole world. So, oh, wait for it to load again, because I've just moved the map. It's just lost a whole load. There was more stuff there. Give it a second. Uh, maybe I have to move that. Let me move the map in a bit. Okay, I've moved the map in again. You can see America. And when you've got the military filter on, for some reason, they decide to show the police helicopters 
I wouldn't call police military, but um, they seem to count it. And air ambulances as well, for some reason, show up. I mean, that's not military, but that shows up when they've got their military filter on, so that's a bit odd. But anyway, there you go. And then the last site I'm going to show you tonight in this video, so it doesn't get too long. I've just subscribed to 360 Radar. They give you a 24-hour trial, and then they start taking £21.99 off you for a year's coverage. There's the website to prove I'm using it. So 360radar uk is where you want to go to it's got subscribers because i've just subscribed but again now i was pretty shocked actually everybody i know that is into plane spotting keeps saying oh 360 radar is the best 360 radar is the best now do you spot anything <laughs> can you let's play spot the difference i'll zoom out on the map almost as soon as i loaded up the site i thought hang on what's what's going on I did see on their information that they did say that they're good for coverage of Europe and the UK. Western Europe and the UK is what they claim they're good at tracking. I'd agree with that. That's what they do. That's what they display for America and Canada. Nothing. They've got nothing. They don't track planes in Canada or America. Yet they're charging. Um, also, South America. Nothing. I'm going gonna, gonna to have to move the map with my other hand. They do have a little bit of coverage. Where are we there? Near the Philippines, is that? Yeah, Philippines, they've got a little bit of coverage. But again, China, nothing. Russia, nothing. Kazakhstan, nothing. India, nothing. Most of Africa is blank. I was absolutely shocked. Why does everybody keep saying 360 radar is the best when it's got all these massive, massive holes in their tracking? Um, so... I wasn't impressed and to be perfectly honest I think I'm going to cancel the trial uh, I really need America military for what I do um, I need global military so for me ADSB exchange and Freed are what I'm going to use for military also flight radar has begun to show military I'm just going to go back to flight radar I'm just going to show you something I've, I've noticed recently uh, I'm just got to move the map let me move the map. Now, obviously, as you all know, there's a lot of trouble in the Middle East. And it'd be brilliant if you could see what's going on over Iraq and Syria. And hey, presto, what do you know? Flight Radar 24 is now tracking RAF and US Air Force stuff that's going on over Iraq and Syria. Shocking. <laughs> I was quite surprised when it started showing up. I thought, you've got to be joking. How come that's showing up? But it is. So flight radar has become way more useful. Uh, 360 radar. Let's have a look at what they've got in that area. Let me just move the map. Give it a fair comparison. Right, 360 radar. Blankety blank, blankety blank. Duh, duh, duh. Spot the difference. So even Flight Radar, I mean, sorry, yeah, Flight Radar 24, which is free, shows military stuff that even 360 Radar doesn't show. Shocking. So um, all these people that keep saying 360 Radar is the best, I don't agree with them. And let's just see, let's look at some of the functionality of, um, let's go, let's move this. And let's do the same plane I was showing you, that FedEx plane that's going up the east coast of England. Let's click on that. When you click on it, you get a trail with a bit of colour to it. So again, you can tell height. Um, over to the side, you get the details. But again, it doesn't tell you where the plane's... Well, it does tell you there, the route, but it doesn't give you the time. So I'm going to click on the same plane. I'm going to switch to Flight Radar 24 now. Ooh, I've got to move the map back to where I was. Hold on, let me just move the map. Okay, back to where I was. And again, as you see, that is useful information. What time the plane took off, what time it actually took off, the schedule. You know, that is useful, but 360 Radar doesn't have that. It just has the same basic information, the same as... Um, the exchange level again let me just move the map let's give it a fair comparison the same plane on we're now on adsp exchange again let's click on that fedex plane 
and they list the information down the side. So 360 radar displays similar information to ADSB Exchange um, for planes, but it doesn't show as much information as flight radar. So let's do a summary. Flight Radar 24, brilliant, it's free, it shows civilian and military, plus lots of useful information. Excellent website, definitely use it. ADSB Exchange, brilliant website, useful for civilian and military all over the globe. They've got excellent coverage all over the planet. Look at that. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. And now I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to click on the U, remember, click on U. And now that's going to show you where the military is all over the planet. And let me just move the map. I made it a bit too small. Let's make the map a bit bigger. I've got two Alaskas showing up there. So, um, there you go. That's what they're tracking at the moment in terms of military all across the globe. So America, there's, America's just brilliant. You could spend all day just looking at what's going on in America. Obviously, due to the time, it's just 20 past midnight. Obviously, there's not a lot of stuff flying around when I've decided to do this test, but I'm doing the test now because my 360 radar trial is um, it's a 24 hour trial. I need to make this video before the trial comes up because I think I'm going to end it. Oh, there we go. So what we've got somewhere near Bahrain-ish is that. You've got US Air Force tanker showing up. So anyway, ADSB Exchange, definitely use it. Brilliant website and it's free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Next website, Frida. It's free. It shows civilian stuff. It shows military stuff. It's similar to ADSB, um, but I would say ADSB Exchange shows more military than Frida does. Most most days and nights, to be honest, they do. I would say ADSB Exchange has better coverage than Frida, but it is a useful site because when you click on planes, you get really useful information. So use FreeDAR as well. Excellent site, thank you. And 360 Radar. Well, what can I say? They want you to pay £22 a year. But they don't have coverage in America, Canada, South America. Most of Africa is blank. I'm just going to move them back. Give them, I've got to give them a fair, a fair... Make it as fair as possible to show you where they can display and where they can't. They seem to have some coverage around Morocco, around the tip of Africa up here. Bit of coverage up off the coast of Egypt. So they've obviously got some people feeding data around there. But inland into in Africa, as you can see, it seems to be nothing. They've got nothing for India. Um, China is completely blank. Russia is blank. It's... I just don't get it. I, I was, I was, I'm genuinely shocked. I thought that if a site charged you money, it would therefore be superior to the free programs like ADSB Exchange and FreeDAR. It's not. I mean, maybe... May, I don't know. I can't compare at the moment. Well, let, let's actually do that. Let's have a look. Let's see what their coverage is for... for our, let's do England, not even Scotland. 360 Radar is currently showing these things here, okay? Now I'm going to switch to Frida. Uh, oh, I need to get rid of that. Let's get rid of the military filter I think I've put on it. So, menu, options, filters. Disable the military filter by clicking on those two there. Get rid of that box there. Now the civilian stuff shows up. So how much stuff have they got showing? Let's have a very quick... And you can... If you click on their... Uh, let me... I'm going to tell you so much stuff. If you click on where it says list only visible, it'll only show you what's on the map. I've just clicked on list all, I guess. Okay, so they're saying they've, they're tracking 27 planes in that screen there. 360 radar. I'm going to go back to 360 to compare it. So just have a look at how many things you can see there. To be perfectly honest, it looks about the same, if not less. Um, so I, I should think their coverage for the UK is, to be honest, the free ones have caught up with what they're trying to do. 
Um, so, summary. Flight Radar 24, use it, it's free, it's brilliant. ADSB Exchange, use it, it's free, it's brilliant. Freedar, use it, it's very useful. 360 Radar, well, it has its uses for Britain and Western Europe, but other than that, as I've just shown you, humongous blank spaces on the maps, huge areas they've got nothing and they and to compare it as I said flight radar 24 has something like 20,000 people feeding information to it that's why it's the best in the world for civilian and now shows the military um, don't know how many people feed ADSB exchange don't know how many people use feed to freedar 360 radar claim to have um, 1,200 people feeding information to it but just think about that. 20,000 people feed Flight Radar 24. 1,200 people feed 360 Radar. And that's the difference. That's 360 Radar you're looking at. Um, right, so if I zoom in a bit more. Sorry, that wasn't fair. That was, And again, that's a weird thing about them. That's not me being tricky. When you zoom out from their map, they don't show you the planes. You have to zoom in more to get them to display. Um, but anyway, that's what 360 can show you around the globe. Flight Radar 24 around the globe. Just hold on, I've got the camcorder down so I can move the map. Spot the difference. <laughs> I think I've made my point. I'm, I'm going to be cancelling my trial to 360 radar. I don't see why I'd pay. It's not a lot of money. £22 is not a lot of money. It's not like I'm so skint I can't afford 22 quid. But it's the fact that why would I be paying and I can't see planes in most of the world? The coverage that 360 show I can get from other sites for free. So, hello. So, there you go. Um, they do. Uh, one thing I should say to make it uh, again another fair trial 360 radar do say that they, they can provide better coverage around the UK for low level stuff. Because they do have a lot of people feeding just this area, apparently they can show up stuff that's flying at low level. Um, I don't know whether that makes them better than other sites um, at low level. Probably true. So up to you to investigate more. This is just my brief opinion on what I think is going on with these sites and what to use. Um, but I think I've done a fair comparison. So anyway, as you can see, it's taken me about 28 minutes to show you all of that. So 360 radar compared to Freedar, compared to ADSB Exchange. That's just got the military on at the moment. Let me get rid of the U. So military and civilian now showing on ADSB Exchange. Brilliant sight. And Flight Radar 24 brilliant site there you go that's four sites compared make your own decision and obviously look into them more if you want more detail about any of those sites i've just mentioned do your own research but that's just to give you a basic guide thank you for watching bye bye